I'm Avai D'Amico, coordinator of the Apex Short Film and Music Video Festival here in Rochester, one day only. 55 films, submissions from all around the world, three hours of Minnesota-made content, short films, music videos, horrors, dramas, comedies, everything in between, all in one place, one day only. Check it out. This is Nick Lauer again with the Rochester Experience. We're here at the Apex Film Festival. It's gonna be a great time, so let's not delay. Let's just go in there and check them out. What should I get? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, you are in for a treat. Best seafood in town. I don't eat seafood. Thanks, Marie. My name is Nick Lauer, a newer member to the Rochester Filmmakers community as of February. And I'm Avai D'Amico. My name is Marty Burnham. We're here at Apex because we are the Rochester Filmmakers community. And we are a group of filmmakers who got together about a year ago and decided that we wanted to make movies. <laughs> So Aaron and AJ, uh, from Shatter Prison Studios, right? That's yeah. Long, yeah. You guys are both from Rochester? Yep, yep. All right, awesome. So we just watched Absence inside there. It was terrifying. I actually had to go change my pants after that. <laughs> There's some really freaky moments. Like, where do you see this place going as far as the film community is concerned? I think a change is coming. It okay. feels that way. Because, I mean, essentially with, you know, kind of, I don't know, uh, Avi and Tyler kind of started this whole thing with the Rochester film community of where um, they have the Facebook pages up and they meet um, every Wednesday to basically get together to go through the process of making movies, getting scripts together, uh, planning shoots, and getting all the editing done. And just, you know, and also, um, and that kind of happened around the same time that we started doing our stuff. And so I think that really with a more of a focus on it uh, will help, you know, see a uh, uh, surgence of you know creative talent coming up because this town has a lot of creative talent it's just it's kind of buried and we just kind of find a way to bring it all out yeah. and I think the events exactly. like this definitely are, are good to make sure that that uh, happens for those who are interested in film there's nothing cooler than words that you wrote just kind of pull them out of your mind space we'll call it and then to see this group of people that organize not getting paid or anything just to strictly support your work and come out and Put what you wrote onto to film.
Um, so the, the website for this film is just meatshort, M-E-A-T, short.com. Well, where do you um, see uh, where we're at as far as filmmaking goes and where are we going in the future? I mean, to be honest, I can't think of a lot of films that have been made in Minnesota by Minnesotans that I love. Um, and I think that there's, I, I think that it's going to start happening. Okay. Uh, I'd love to see it happening, uh, but I think we're not there yet. I, I know there there are people I know from Minnesota who have gone and shot films elsewhere that are great. I think that the, I think that part of it is um, people who are are based in Minnesota and, and living here and wanting to make Minnesota films. I think they also it's important to be aware of the, the great work that's happening all around the country and to make sure you're comparing yourself not to the films that get into the Minneapolis Film Festival but the ones that get into Sundance and South by Southwest and to be seeing that work and seeing what like really great filmmaking is um, and I think that the best thing like Minnesota filmmakers can do is to get out there in the world of filmmaking be, become a, a member of that community and then make movies here and tell the stories that are, are based here that's kind of what I'm trying to do I enjoy filmmaking obviously um, and I was excited that uh, other people in the general area southeastern Minnesota also like making films it's uh, been pretty cool um, we've kind of rebooted our group in June ish maybe yeah as a uh, summer film camp at the public library so they're like sponsoring us and giving us a space to meet it's tough um having a normal job and trying to, just wanting to do this. And you know, you got families and kids and stuff and all we want to do is make a film and it takes six months to do an eight minute thing because you got all this other stuff going on. And uh, if we had it our way, we'd work on it every day. You know? um, but there's people out there that want to be creative. Uh, getting people to care is the hard part. Um, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how, if it just takes that one break. Uh, our goal right now is just to keep doing what we want to do and release quality content. Just finding like-minded individuals, uh, people who are willing to, like Nick said, for free, make movies happen here. And support each other and make sure that everybody has a voice and has the experience of, of making movies they want to see made. Uh, so for me, that's been the most rewarding part. That's Shattered Prism Studios on yeah, Facebook and yeah, YouTube yeah. channel. Look for that on YouTube, Facebook, you'll find us. All right, so Dominox, get ready for it. It's yeah. going to be action-packed. It's going to be amazing. Be comedy packed too, right? Yeah. Comedy action-packed. Blood soaked. Yep. Yeah, we, well, we keep do this all day. Couldn't ask for more, right? <laughs> they are the best of the best, each trained to be a perfect weapon. They know no fear. They live by the gun and die by the gun. They are Dom and Max. An all new original series coming soon. We keep trying, so one film at a time. Wow. Keep on doing it. Thank Eric. you very much. Thanks, Thanks, man. Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming out today. Of course. Absolutely. It's been an amazing experience and I love doing it. I recommend anyone who's interested in film get get to the group. Every Wednesday at the library, 6 p.m., typically room B, upstairs. So that's my story. You know, usually I'm a vegetarian, but I'm just in the mood for sausage. <laughs> <laughs>